Alrighty, boys, it is time. Ban list for Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links. Here we go. I have not seen the ban list yet, so this is a first impressions, first reaction. Video to said changes. Um, I didn't really have any predictions going into this because I really don't know what direction they're taking the game in. It's so weak right now that any further bans doesn't really make any sense because the, the game is weak. You want new decks to perform well. So... Last time I talked about ban lists, I said they should just unban pretty much everything. There's no reason to have anything banned in this game in its current state, in its current shambly state, with all the players moving to Master Duel. Let's see what they did. Boom! First hit, <laughs> Brave Neos to two. Interesting, and I can see here it looks like Neos Fusion is going to three. Uh, yeah, I mean, this makes more sense, if I'm being honest. I always really enjoyed the Neos engine, uh, especially when we got... Um, the, uh, uh, I forget his name, the Dragon Seeker guy, the one from the box that lets you search the Neos Fusion. Neos lets a lot of random archetypes be able to be played. You put the Brave Neos at two, so you still don't get Econ and TTH. Makes sense. And then you give them the Neos Fusion, and they can, oh, never mind. Keeper of Dragon Magic, who was also Limit 2, is moving to Limit 3 with Neos Fusion. So... <laughs> So I guess they're giving you four copies, so you're going up from two copies of Neos Fusion and any deck to four copies of Neos Fusion. Uh, or I'm sorry, I still, I completely forgot that the, the ban list works differently in Duel Links over Master Duel. So no, you still have three copies. So basically you're going to be able to play three Neos Fusion again instead of being able to play two Neos Fusion. Because you're not going to play two Neos Fusion and one Keeper of Dragon Magic. That's not going to be a thing. It's just going to be... Triple Neos Fusion, they just kept this here because they don't want to give you more Neos Fusions. Um, weird hit? I don't know if that's enough to bring Neos back into the metagame. Neos dropped out of the metagame a long, long time ago until Keeper of Dragon Magic showed up to, to uh, make it relevant again. So that's a weird hit. We'll see if they hit anything else. Uh, Magician of Dark Illusion and Cybernetic Fusion Support are no longer on the ban list, so here comes the unbans. We still have a little while to scroll through as well, so here we go. We got some unbans. Uh, Dark Magician still has Rod and Navigation, so we're looking for those two. Spellbook of Fate's no longer on the list. Doesn't matter. Spellbook is completely irrelevant, even at full power. Cybernetic Fusion Support, they still have Cyberload, and they still have the Trap on the ban list. Uh, the thing with cybernetic fusion support is it was only broken with cyber style because yes, you could use this to go into your fusion gate plays, but it al also getting the additional monster support was what really, really, really broke cybernetic fusion support. So I don't know if this is too impactful. Magician Dark Illusion is not very much so impactful with navigation and rods still limited. We'll see if they hit those. Spellbook Fate, that's fine. Spellbook's completely irrelevant. Spellbook and Master spellbooks are completely irrelevant. And that's it. <laughs> so they did make some unbans, and technically speaking, this is a Neos buff because you don't you don't use more than uh, two of the Neos, and this is just here to stop them from using Econ and TTH, while they also give you an additional copy of Neos Fusion while keeping Keeper on there so you don't play like six copies essentially. Um, Magician of Dark Illusion. Let me actually see what he was at before. We can very quickly go check. Because the thing with Dark Magician is Dark Dark Illusion has been on and off the ban list so many times at this point. It's actually kind of hard to keep track of him at this point. He is a limit two card. And I don't think there's any other Dark Magician card on here. You can see the Cyber, Dra Cyber Dragon... They, they, they now can play Cyber Load and Overflow and play the Cybernetic Fusion Support. We'll see if that matters. I don't think it's going to matter too much. Yeah, I guess Dark Magician just gets its Limit 2s back. Um, I guess they could play the Star Seraph Engine? Question mark? Uh, they could play TTH Econ. Konami has, has said you could play TTH Econ. You could play Concentrate. I don't know. I guess they want Dark Magician to, to have access to the Limit 2s while still being extremely scuffed because they're scuffed because of Rod and Navigation being Limit 3. This is what's keeping the deck down. So it's an, an interesting move, to say the least, from Konami giving them their Limit 2s back but still keeping their consistency on the down low. Super interesting that they decided to go for that. Um... Outside of that, I mean, I, there's 
not really sure what else this ban list is. This feels like a filler ban list until they decide to do, you know, whatever they want to do with the game is what they want to do with the game. I am happy to see unbans finally. All this stuff should have happened a long time ago. Cybernetic fusion support, I don't think this is going to matter in how Cyber Dragon currently plays. Even if you were to cybernetic right now, the only thing you would get out of it is getting to use your graveyard as material which is kind of irrelevant uh, if you don't get those additional summons from your skill in order to use it. So I don't think it's going to be too relevant. I don't think it's going to change Cyber Dragon in any way. Um, Dark Magician getting its Limit 2s back is an interesting concept. Dark Magician will play how it does now, just they, they'll TTH you <laughs> on top of what they currently do. And Spellbook is a completely irrelevant archetype right now in Duel Links. They could have everything at full power and it will not matter in my opinion. The Neos change might be the one that has the most meta impact. We'll have to see. You, playing Neos basically means you can't play your limit twos and your limit threes, but it is a little bit more consistent now. You do have three copies of Neos Fusion again. Um, and then of course, Brave Neos being used to dump pretty much any low level monster into your graveyard. We'll see, man. We'll see. I, 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 I'm, I'm. Again, this is a first reaction. This is what I think right off the top of the bat when I look at these cards. This does feel like a filler, weaker ban list, uh, and hopefully, this is just a trend where they just start taking stuff off the ban list until we get like a full powered meta again. Uh, that's pretty much all I have. You guys let me know what you think down in the comments below. There is a Duel Links tournament probably when this video goes up on Monday. Uh, if you want to try this new ban list, of course, it is legal right away. Uh, you can go ahead and try all these new cards. And then, of course, on Saturday, there is a $500 tournament uh, this Saturday from when this video goes up. So definitely go sign up for that if you would like to see some Duel Links plays. That's pretty much all I have for you. Pretty tame ban list. Uh, I don't think this is going to shift too many things. You guys let me know what you think. Peace out.